Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 13th to the 20th of October. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hello, hi. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you click subscribe. We have Mercury stationing direct, I believe, on the 18th, which you co-rule with Virgo, or rather, that co-rules you in Virgo. Um, and then we have the full moon in Aries on the 20th, okay? Let's see what's going on for you. We'll pull out astrology, mantra cards, and then we'll do love at the end, okay? Um, that's a lot, right? Yeah, five, six, two more, please. Six, I'm going to have to show up there, and seven. Oh, well, la di da mm hmm I was seeing this in the beginning. I'm going to pull out the rest of the cards before I do this. I think that you are moving on from someone, mm -hmm. Venus. I think, oh my God, and full moon, oh, most definitely. You are you are moving on. You, something has been illuminated in regards to this situation here. The Knight of Cups and Clarity, Ace of Swords. Yeah, it could be a fire sign or a water sign. Look, oh my God, so many people <gasps> and the devil. Look, Gemini, this person is never gonna fucking change. Period, hard stop. It doesn't matter how much you try. It doesn't matter what you do. This has nothing to do with you. You are perfect. You are fine. You are a beautiful, kind, loving, respectful being. This person will never change. They will never change. Literally, they'll be like, babe, I've changed. Take me back. And then that weekend, be back to their games. Knight of Cups. Yeah, always trying to make you an offer. and that, But you're like, not, not anymore. I'm with a trucker. Two men here. I mean, it doesn't matter, ma masculine, feminine. Too many people here. Too many people. And then the, the Six of Swords and the Devil. Like, this this person wants their cake and eat it too. No, thank you. Absolutely not. And the Hierophant. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, no, bye. I think that you've tried. I think that you've exhausted all your resources. It feels like, you know, you might be at this breaking point where emotionally you might feel so overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, why don't they change? Oh my God, why does this always happen to me? Oh my God, this, oh my God, that. Like, it constantly just feels like it's like hovering over you. But I got to tell you here with, um, with this that... Boy, oh boy. Okay, this is taking a toll on your physical health and you need to focus on healing yourself, okay? Stop. And you got to fill up your cup first, Gemini, okay? And then pour from the full cup, not from the empty cup. Um, you got opposition as your astrology card and opposition is about dependence, duality, differentiation, objectivity, oscillation, interaction, complement. Um, what I feel like is that there might be a dependence from either of you, like there might be energy that brings you two together, or you might be in similar circles. So you're constantly having to interact and be around each other. And so this person has this opportunity to kind of try and make their way back into your life over and over and over again. Um, but you're at this point now where you're like, I can't, man, I can't, I cannot do this with you anymore. The hanged one, the four of wands and the knight of wands, most definitely. Okay. I think this week you're going to be in this place of like, in action, like even how I decide, right? Like you're just gonna be like, fuck, like I really need to get my shit together. I need to see this person for who they are, not for what I want them to be. Maybe you might be like in, in also like a bit of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stagnation where you're just like, maybe I can have this four of wands with them. Like, look, now they're trying so hard, but you, you keep getting knights, honey. Where are the kings? It's like this person wears multiple masks. Like around you, they're always showing up as knights. Around other people, they're showing up as kings. I don't even... Uh, you know, maybe it's another Gemini. Maybe it's a Gemini, Gemini situation, but it's like Jekyll and Hyde and you're like, I don't even know who you are, dude, or do that. Like, I don't even know, like you're always showing me different sides of you. Like, I don't even know who I'm gonna get today. Uh, it could even be somebody has multiple personality disorder for some of you. With that seven of swords right at the middle on the four, like beside, like this combo right here, love bugs, okay? Knight of Wands with the seven of swords, that person is a shady mother ever. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away, okay? You know what they're capable of doing, okay? Don't fall for the trap. Don't fall for what they're selling. You ain't buying it. You got it. You know, you know, don't buy this. 
Like, this is not good. This is not, this is damaged goods, which just sounds awful, but like, honestly, like it's just gonna continue to repeat over and over again. And I can't reiterate that enough, especially with the four cups coming on, up after this. Like, you're like, but I'm used to all this. And the universe is like, babe, you need to get over this and start taking something new. Because the universe is like, I wanna offer you a new opportunity here. Something that's gonna bring you joy and happiness. But you can't welcome in something new if you're continuously going back to the old, right? Like if you're continuously going back to the old, I can't give you something new. For some of you, it could even read like the Ace of Swords coming through and then the universe going, here's some new people, right? Some Here's some kings coming in, right? Which you want kings, okay? We all want kings, okay? Um, or maybe you're like, they're talking to you right now or trying to make moves on you right now, Gemini, but you're like, I'm just gonna swim back to the devil. No, man. No, 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 no. Do I need to go to your house and tell you no? Do I need to? Do I need to? Gemini, no, no. Okay. Um. Yeah, just honestly, what are you doing, man? <laughs> like, I love you, but what are you doing? All right. So yeah, don't definitely don't try and hope and wish that this person's going to go back to being who they are because they're definitely not. Um, I'm going to move on to your love reading now. I am going to recommend some bracelets for my jewelry line. If you are looking to attract high vibrational love into your life, this piece of Venus um, will support you in that. It's got rose quartz and morganite barrel. It helps you to heal that heart chakra to find confidence and love in the self so that you are able to vibrate at the frequency to attract that like good, juicy, healthy, romantic love. Sorry, I thought I heard geese and I'm like, geese at this hour? What? Okay, let's get into your love reading. Uh, Venus, if you want to shop, is in the description box below. Same if you want to book a live one hour reading and get more juicy gossip on this guy or gal or they them. Yeah, it's safe for you to love. The universe is like, take this man or woman. Take this new offer. Have conversations with them. Yeah, it almost feels like this other guy is so toxic, but like, I don't know if they've got good D or good E or what the scoop is, but you're just like, I gotta go back there. And the universe is like, no, this way. Okay, oh, that one almost wanted to come out. Oh, that one did come out. Oi. Yeah, it's time. Okay, it's time to embrace this new. Okay, not more of the old boo boo. The boo boo was not for the only more. Okay, please, thank you. It's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And the Queen of Pentacles, my darling, you all are a queen. Okay, remember that. Whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. You have king queen status. You do not associate with knights and peasants, okay? Yeah, the Hierophant, heart-to-heart conversations. The universe is really trying to show you here, okay? That, like, it's time for you to free yourself from this banana head and welcome in, like, new high vibrational healthy love into your life. Wow, the magician and judgment with free yourself. Dude, if you don't do it, the universe will. You have Hierophant twice here showing up, by the way. So you, uh, there might be something that kind of happens where it doesn't, like... The Hierophant is all about spirituality, it's morals, it's ethics, it's also like a spiritual teacher, um, and sometimes it can even talk about like, you know, uh, the status quo, so maybe something happens that makes you kind of go, ooh, okay, this is this is definitely never going to change. Um, and then with the magician and judgment, listen, if you don't free yourself from this person, the universe is going to free yourself, free you from it, and it's, while it's gonna be great on the other side of it, it's not gonna feel good while you're in it, okay? I've always found in my experience that when the universe frees us from things, it's a lot rougher than when we accept and embrace the change that's coming, all right? And with judgment and the magician and free yourself, yeah, just free yourself, baby. You're the magician, honey. You can have whatever you want, all right? Go after some kings, man. You know, not these rinky dinks, all right? Okay, if you want to book a live one hour or shop over at Cersei Jewels, take a look at the description box below. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.